Alabama on Sunday. Drove up to Franklin, Kentucky through Nashville. And we'll show you some of that drive. Not too much to bore you. But some of the traffic in Nashville was pretty heavy and uh, congested and there was construction and a couple of wrecks. So it's just another big city to get to. We're finally getting to go to the Creation Museum in the Ark Encounter. We've been wanting to go for years and it just never has worked out. So finally we're going. The traffic in Na Nashville was just awful. So once we hit Kentucky at exit six, we were very glad that we were at our campground. Uh, the name of the campground was Dad's Bluegrass RV Park. It's just a, not even a mile off of the interstate, but you have to wiggle kind of through the pilot parking lot, and there's a um, speed co there, and it's back behind that, so you really don't hear the um, interstate noise, which was great. It was really nice, quiet, easy on and off the interstate. The uh, owner was extremely nice. Uh, it was a good Sam's campground. It only cost us $42 a night, and that was for a full hookup and a 50 amp, which is normally what we like to get. They also had uh, propane that you could get. We filled up with that before we left the next morning. Wi-Fi was extra, so we really didn't need it, so we didn't mess with that. But um, after we got the camper set up, we decided to go downtown and find something to eat. We found a little cafe called the Brickyard Cafe. It was on the square in downtown Franklin. Very good food, good service. Wayne had the cedar plank salmon and I got the fettuccine. All in all, it was a wonderful place to stop. And tomorrow we're headed to Georgetown, Kentucky. We slept like a rock uh, that night. The drive was a little treacherous getting through Nashville, as you saw. Um, so we're leaving here we hook up the jeep and get some propane pretty much just hopped right back on the interstate and headed over to georgetown kentucky we stayed at whispering hills rv park it's just off of i-75 about 45 minutes south of cincinnati ohio they are a good sam's campground they got 230 sites with water electric sewer nice lake with uh, geese and ducks uh, that was nice to sit and look at uh, we paid $38.16 per night. That's with our Good Sam's membership. They include a free guest internet, Wi-Fi. It was good when it worked, but it seemed to drop connection a lot as if they were prioritizing uh, based on how much data you were using. So uh, no streaming on TV or anything like that, but we were able to do email and upload and download a few things as far as videos and pictures and all that posted on Facebook and Instagram uh, one strict rule they had was you're not allowed to touch their grass don't get any chairs or rugs or trash or don't sit on the grass don't don't park crooked so that uh, your wheels are on the grass and they have designated parking lots for your towed vehicles so anyway, they're on exit 129 off of I-75 near Georgetown between Lexington and Cincinnati. And I just wanted to mention them because that's where we pretty much set up base camp for the uh, duration while we went to the Creation Museum and the Ark Encounter. today the creation museum where is that at kentucky almost in indiana yeah. almost in ohio almost need to check them out while we're up this way we've been wanting to do this for a decade well since they built it to three anyway we're going to go and take lots of pictures. There's the Ark Encounter sign at exit 154. That's tomorrow. We'll be doing that tomorrow, and we'll let you guys see what we see when we get to the Creation Museum. Hang in there. Entrance. You can see the big sign for it out on the interstate just as you're getting off. 
I should have worn my thicker jacket. I should have worn a jacket. I can see it not being an option today. Welcome to the Creation Museum. There's Porky Pig. Get a picture of Porky. Hey Porky. What do dinosaurs eat? They In the law of God, it was the big thing to fall upon Adam, and he took one of his ribs and made it into a woman, and brought her to the man. And Adam said, She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Thank you. 
So we just walked through the Creation Museum, had a wonderful time with that. There was not nearly enough time to see everything we wanted to see. We saw a lot more than what you saw. Uh, we hope we gave you a glimpse of what it's all about. A number of locations where you could sit and study uh, the difference in how technology is used to determine the date of something or how old something is and the differences that different scientists believe one way versus another way. And I guess we'll have spent about four hours in there maybe five i don't i don't know i think about four hours we were getting very yeah, tired we were we we're tired and we were hangry and mm -hmm. ready ready for something mm -hmm. to eat it was really cold very and cold. uh we we wanted to ride around uh, we really wanted to see indiana and ohio and anyway we had a great time we highly recommend that if you're even remotely curious about the science yes. and the beliefs of Bible believers like we are versus evolutionary, which I think there's some crossover between the sciences of both. One, one odd thing I, I remember as we were coming out, we were looking for the exit door to get back out mm -hmm. the same way we came in. We had to come up two flights of stairs to get back yeah. to where we came in. We never, we went, never went downstairs. So how we got two levels down and never realized any it. steps <laughs> i don't know how that happened but anyway Let's that was strange gonna... that, that was a weird yeah. like a twilight zone thing like we didn't go downstairs but now we got to get upstairs to go back to where we were we must have been going gradually downhill as well, we were going uh, through it's the only way it could have happened but yeah it was strange <laughs> that they uh we left the creation museum and went to galvin's downtown mm, yummy uh, georgetown and yeah, they're wraps and turkey wraps. And we actually chicken. went there twice while yeah, we, we were there. Yeah, we liked it so good the first time. <laughs> we went back the second time. So mm. uh, anyway, we would recommend that. And if you got questions, leave them in the comments below. And uh, we hope to see you in the next video, which will be about Noah's Ark. Noah's Ark. And wow. We. Wow. <laughs> it, Unbelievable. I don't have words to explain it. Mm -hmm. you, you just have to go see it for yourself. But we'll show you the best we can what we took with video. Catch you next time.